If there is one thing that we know for sure about space, it is that we know hardly anything at all. For every 10 discoveries made, there are likely thousands of equally fascinating discoveries that remain hidden. And yet, we are constantly uncovering amazing new things every single day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three interesting discoveries and what they can tell us about the cosmos that stretches infinitely beyond our atmosphere. Powerful jets found shooting from an incredibly magnetic neutron star. One of the most interesting things about space is that most of the knowledge that we have are simply theories and hypotheses based on the data that we have gathered so far. This means that every now and then, scientists and astronomers are forced to reconsider previously held knowledge and ideas in the face of contradictory new evidence. In one such instance, researchers were dumbfounded when they observed something the likes of which had never been seen before. A massive beam, moving almost as fast as the speed of light, was seen shooting out from an extremely powerful neutron star boasting an incredibly strong magnetic field that is over 10 trillion times stronger than our suns. Neutron stars are an interesting phenomenon and are what is left over when a massive star runs out of fuel. As the star begins to collapse, their core creates a neutron which essentially stops the final stages of the collapse which would eventually lead to the creation of a black hole and leaves behind a neutron star instead. These stars boast an incredibly large density resulting in powerful gravitational pulls almost as strong as black holes. So, when the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array Radio Telescope captured the mystifying burst from the exceptionally powerful neutron star named Swift J024366124, astronomers were mystified. Although jets are not unheard of with neutron stars, previous theories claimed that neutron stars with strong magnetic fields would be unable to produce a jet like the one observed with the Jansky telescope. This means that current ideas surrounding the capabilities of neutron stars need to be reconsidered and reworked. As any good scientist would do, the team made sure to closely monitor the after-effects of the star following the jet burst to begin to collect new information and data that might shed some light upon how this seemingly impossible phenomenon was able to occur. They carefully recorded the X-ray and radio emissions that followed the sudden jet burst to determine what might have caused the initial eruption. Currently, it seems that the neutron star has a nearby companion star that it is absorbing material from. This material, once attracted to the neutron star, condenses into a mass of orbiting flattened matter known as an accretion disk, which interacts with the strangely powerful magnetic field of the neutron star in order to spark the production of the jets at the star's poles. Although this is the current prevailing theory based on the immediate analysis of the after effects of the jet, there are other theories that could also explain why such an unexpected event occurred, including the stellar winds and shockwaves generated within the accretion disk. It is important to remember that these are simply preliminary theories that cannot yet be taken as fact. For now, scientists are intensely working to study other neutron stars in the hopes that they might be able to observe jets occurring under similar circumstances to further verify one of these new hypotheses. Jupiter's Great Red Spot May Survive By Eating Smaller Storms Jupiter's famous Great Red Spot is undoubtedly the storm to end all storms. A massive anticyclonic high-pressure storm with swirling winds that rage at speeds over 400 km per hour, it holds the title of the largest storm so far discovered in the solar system. And recently, scientists realized that the key to its size may be none other than storm cannibalism of sorts. In the past few years, some thought that the Great Red Spot may have been well on the way towards running out of steam at long last as it appeared as though it was slowly decreasing in size. Additionally, smaller anticyclones, which were smaller than the mega storm but still about half the size of Earth, kept running into the storm and it appeared that they were taking small bites out of the swirling clouds and further decreasing the size. Upon further study, researchers now believe that the opposite is true. Rather than shrinking the Great Red Spot, the smaller anticyclones were being consumed by the larger storm 
resulting in the latter increasing its internal rotation velocity and further fueling the enormous swirling mass. Because anticyclones, like the Great Red Spot, are composed of high-powered winds, churning around a central area of intense, pressurized air, when the smaller anticyclones collide, the larger storm effectively steals their rotational wind and uses it as a power-up of sorts in order to increase its own wind speeds. This process is what caused the storm to appear to shrink, when it was simply absorbing the forces of the smaller storms to become even stronger. Once the energy has been absorbed from the storm collision, the Great Red Spot would return to its previous size. Essentially, although it appeared that the smaller storms, named flakes because of the way that they appear to flake off parts of the cloud swirling over the Great Red Spot, appeared to be shrinking the size of the storm, the larger storm was feeding on the flakes to become even stronger. The process of absorbing the energy from the anticyclones made the clouds covering the Great Red Spot contract and shrink, making it seem as though the storm itself was growing smaller. However, the entire time that researchers were attempting to discover what was happening to Jupiter's famous spot and why it appeared as though it was running out of energy, the powerful vortex at the center of the storm underneath the clouds was becoming ever stronger as it powered the winds that swirl famously across Jupiter's surface. Although the shrinking size and the deceptive nature of the flakes made it seem as though the Great Red Spot was going to disappear forever, scientists were very quickly reminded that, when it comes to space, not everything is as it seems, as the famous Great Red Spot was simply becoming stronger than ever. TOI-1685b – Super-Earth Just because we have not yet found planets that host life, does not mean that planets like our own actually exist. In fact, there are many exoplanets that scientists have discovered in recent years that share enough key characteristics with Earth to be dubbed Earth-like by scientists and astronomers. Such planets are valuable points of study in the search for answers regarding how the universe came to be and how our planet alone out of all of the others managed to create the perfect conditions to be able to host the wide variety of life that we see around us each day. One such planet, named TOI-1685b, is especially interesting and has been called the extreme super-Earth by those studying its properties. And, upon closer examination of the properties, it's not hard to see where the adjective super comes from. The exoplanet orbits a small red dwarf star, a little over 120 light-years from Earth, at a mind-bending speed. Whereas it takes our planet 365 days to circle the Sun, TOI-1685b manages to complete orbit of its own star in only 0.67 Earth days. Additionally, even though red dwarfs are small and usually not as bright as other stars, this speedy exoplanet orbits so close to its host star that it manages to stay quite warm with a surface temperature of almost 800 degrees Celsius or 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. TOI-1685b is about 1.7 times bigger than Earth and almost four times as massive, with a bulk density of slightly over 4 grams per cubic centimeter. All of these numbers might not seem like much, but they make this planet the least dense, ultra-short period planet around an M-dwarf known to date, according to the paper announcing the discovery of this interesting planet. TOI-1685b was discovered by a team of researchers led by Paz Bloom from Germany's Heidelberg University, who studied observations recorded by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite. TESS has uncovered many exoplanets and works by identifying the location of transits or the small, hardly noticeable places where planets cross in between their host star and Earth, creating a tiny blip in the measured brightness from the star. Once TESS flagged the blip created by this new exoplanet, Bloom and her team were quickly able to confirm the planet's existence and gather the basic facts about it, including its rapid speed and relatively high temperatures by using the Carmenes spectrograph instrument at the Cala Alto Observatory in Spain. The unique characteristics of this planet make it an interesting one for further study, and, luckily for researchers, its high surface temperatures mean that it will be much easier to observe using other methods and instruments, especially those that observe different wavelengths. It seems that there might be even a second neighboring planet 
orbiting this host star, although if present, it does not transit, meaning that it will likely be hard to confirm its existence. Because this is still a relatively new discovery, the potential to uncover even more exciting information as studies of the interesting super-Earth exoplanet continue is very high, leaving researchers waiting in anticipation for more information to emerge. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.